Hello everyone, my name is Joe and today we're going to talk about the most fabulous anime out there and that is of course Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. And in this anime recommendation we are going to cover Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 1. There is a popular opinion in this anime community that Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 1 is a little bit... How can I say this? Meh. On that... I can kinda agree with, but only if you compare it to other parts of Jojo. Because if you compare it to other anime, it would still be pretty good. This anime is based on manga that was made by Hirohiko Araki. And this first part of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is a little bit different than the other ones because it's based on dark and gothic theme. And let's not forget about the masterful work that David Production did on animation department because this anime looks so freaking crispy fresh. And I never imagined that someone would be able to put Jojo's Bizarre Adventure in such great looking work. I'm talking about this because there was so many of those god awful OVAs in the 90s. There is so many of those 80s and 90s mangas that deserve a lot better than they got. Berserk, I'm talking about you. Story in this anime follows Jonathan Joestar, a first in line of Joestars, a family that will fight evil in generations to come. Jonathan Joestar was born in a wealthy family and was raised on a silver spoon that turned him into a little bit of a wimp when he was a kid. And that wimpiness will be used against him by none other than Dio Brando. But Joe, who the hell is that Dio guy? Who are you talking about? Sit down Billy and let me explain. Dio is pretty much the thing that saved this show. He is a main antagonist and he is so easy to hate and so easy to love. Love him or hate him, you have to admit that he is a really freaking awesome villain. He was raised by a scoundrel that abused him when he was a little boy. And all of those things that his father did made him into a freaking psycho. And later on he was adopted by Joe Star family and he did everything in his power to destroy it. Even though he was accepted into a Joe Star family like he was their own blood, someone would say that he is an overly ambitious brat. Let's stop talking about Dio because if I only wanted to talk about Dio, we, this video would be like 30 minutes long. So let's talk about the power system in this anime. And that is of course Hamon. Hamon allows you to get the power through the use of controlled breath. That user can fill their body and attacks with sunlight energy, making it very effective against vampires, zombies and pillarmen. Talking about vampires, vampires are the main enemy of this show. And these vampires aren't the shiny ones that you see on the TV. These vampires are anime vampires. Yeah, those kinds of vampires. These vampires are pretty much unkillable. Traditional methods on these vampires doesn't work. Garlic, steak. Get out of here. I'm not sure even if you knew the damn things if it would kill them. You need the power of Hamon. And even if you had the powers of Hamon, you would still be in disadvantage. How so? I will explain now. Even if you knew how to use a legendary thunder cross split attack it would not be effective against these kinds of vampires and let's not forget about another shining point of this show and that is of course side characters and when i say side characters i need to mention the most legendary side character of all time and that is of course speed of wagon and of course uh will antonio zeppeli and i know that if there is any italian watching this video they would uh, die out of cringe probably so i guess pasta la vista baby and there are many other side characters that i totally forgot about that you will probably too but still these two characters are so freaking good so thumbs up for that and i know that there is a popular opinion that you should skip this part of jojo's bizarre adventure but i strongly disagree with that statement because there is only nine episodes of this you see dio in this and you should watch it because it's the most crucial part that you need to watch no, not the most crucial part but still go and watch it don't skip on it please 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 listen to jojo i mean joe joe hey hey good job joe after making such a horrible pun probably no one will listen to you but still please do 
because you will not regret it. And music in this show is so freaking good. I think the opening is one of the most classic opening of our generation. It's like Jojo, 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 And then it goes so do chino saname Jojo. And hopefully you didn't die out of cringe because I probably freaking butchered these Japanese words, but still, and my singing was pretty awful, but still. I couldn't really play it to you, so I had to do something like, hey, I did this only because of copyright problems. I would like to play it to you guys, but I had to do this otherwise, so I'm sorry, guys. And the ending of this show is that to be continued guitar bass thing that you've probably seen in thousands of memes. So, long story short, if you want to see 120 kilo men punching each other and doing that in a really fabulous fashion and a show that is so ridiculous that will make you laugh in every freaking episode, then look no further because this show might just be the one that you were searching for for your entire life. At least it was for me. And it has Dio. Let's not forget about Dio. So don't be afraid of all of the memes and really passionate fan base that Jojo has around it because at least for me it was really hard to get into but once I got into it boy oh boy I couldn't get out of it so if you want to see your favorite anime that you think that other people should see please comment down below maybe we all consider doing your anime in the near future and I would really appreciate if you could smash that like button and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing to the channel because there will be a lot more content just like this coming up soon. And thank you for watching everyone and I will see you in the next video.